Can you find all across Europe throughout our period. It is a, a tale of stone soup where people come together, each with an ingredient for the pot. The first person who arrives just puts a pot of water on the boil, a big kettle, throws a stone into it. I think probably to uh, to, to give the dentist of the world something to work on. Because somebody eventually gets the stone, but the rest of us get every other ingredient that goes into the pot. And so where at the beginning of the night, no one has enough food to feed even themselves. They only have one little piece of food. It all goes in the pot, and by the time the feast has begun, there's a huge pot of stone soup that everyone can share. The, the, the underlying tale of this particular song of mine is the uh, first crown tournament of Eldemir. We have been a principality for many, many years, proud singers of the north, and we eventually became a kingdom. We were given the uh, given the go-ahead to, to go to kingdom status, we were all so proud, and we ran our first king crown tourney. Now, the entire realm of Eldemir, the entire kingdom, probably has about 400, 450 paid wow. members, because we are big on geography, but very small in population up in the far north. And um, so, of course, everyone was working hard to make sure that we could accommodate the hundreds and hundreds of visitors that were coming up for this momentous day. Now, as is often the case in, uh, in a cold land, uh, the, the plague goes through at regular intervals. And unfortunately, <laughs> this day, our head cook, Gwyneth, came into the kitchen on the morning, having prepped everything, and found herself alone. Because the plague had gone through, and everyone had wisely stayed home and not come in to handle food from her crew of helpers. Unfortunately, nobody realized that they were not the only ones staying home. In fact, all 20 of them had decided to stay home. <laughs> and then, bless her, she somehow was embarrassed that she should have seen this happening, she should have planned for it, and so she began to work faster and harder and not ask for help. And fair enough, she was, she was trying to do her best to fulfill her duty. And so there she was, stirring pots and taking things out of the oven and chopping and... Oh, it was too much for one person. We all knew. So as we're quietly made its way out into the feast hall, we all went, let's do this in a way that won't embarrass her. And so we would occasionally walk into the kitchen and say, oh, hi, Gwen, I'm just going to fill up my mug. Oh, uh, here, let me, let me take some stuff out of here. Okay, see you later. And uh, over the course of the day, I think over, over a number of these little five-minute stretches, that piece got entirely cooked and entirely prepped and entirely out the door with the servers, because Gwyneth was in there by herself slaving away, and hallelujah to her and to all who served. This one is so sweet. The chorus to this is, the cook is in the kitchen, the feasters in the hall, a single lady slaving will attempt to feed them all. <laughs> the laws of physics. Peace, man. 